Hello everyone, Oscar from Jimmy LT. In rare cases, device may require a firmware upgrade during test, before shipment, or during troubleshooting. The upgrade schemes and procedures may vary for different device models, depends on the solution selected. We provide four firmware upgrade schemes, flashing, memory card upgrade, point-to-point -point upgrade via Wi-Fi key, and OTA. In today's video, I will introduce the differences in these four upgrade schemes for the JC261 and the JC400 series, as well as the specific steps involved. First, let's discuss flashing. A flashing upgrade uses specific software on a computer to update the device firmware, allowing you to monitor the progress and see the results instantly. This scheme requires close proximity to the device. Before starting, please contact your account manager to get the latest firmware package for your specific model and prepare the following tools and materials. A DC power supply, JC261 and JC400 series units, power cables for the devices, a dedicated upgrade data cable, and a computer running Windows 7 or 10. Then proceed with the following steps. Download the package from the specific link and unzip the file. The upgrade file will have a pack suffix. Inside, you will find the files on the screen. Then unzip both RAR files. If this is the first time you are using this computer to perform a flashing, install the driver first. Open the driver file and run the executable file for your system. Follow the wizard to complete installation. Then open the upgrade tool and double click the executable file. Click load package, locate the pack file, and double click to load it into the upgrade tool. The version number appears upon import success. Check and ensure the imported firmware version matches your target version. Click start downloading. Ensure the device and the power cable are not connected to the DC's power supply and the device is turned off. Connect the dedicated upgrade data cable to the computer and device. Connect the B Plus and ACC wires to the positive of the DC power supply and the ground wire to the negative according to the user menu of the device. Then power up the device with 12 volts the computer will automatically detect the device and start the upgrade process and you can monitor the progress. If the computer fails to start the upgrade, please check if the driver has been installed successfully. You can confirm this via the device list in the device manager of your computer. If the installation fails, Try reinstalling the driver and restarting the computer. Then repeat the above steps. A success dialog will appear after the upgrade is complete. In this case, the firmware version of the device should be your target version. During the upgrade, please ensure a stable power supply and a secure computer device connection. A power failure or a cable disconnection may cause the upgrade to suspend. In this case, you may need to redo the upgrade. That's all about flashing upgrade, and the future optimization of the process will be based on this. The memory card upgrade 
is to perform an upgrade by transferring the upgrade package saved on a memory card to the device without consuming device data. This method also requires close proximity to the device. Before upgrading via this method, please contact your account manager to get the latest firmware package for your specific model and prepare the following tools and materials. A DC power supply, ZC261 and ZC400 series units, power cables for the devices, a memory card, a card reader, and a computer. Then proceed with the following steps. Download the package from the specific link and name it Update. Insert the memory card into the card reader and connect it to the computer. Make sure it's readable. Open this PC, right-click the memory card disk and select Format. Choose the file list format. FAT32 is recommended. Click Start and OK to start the formatting process. After format success, copy the update file to the root directory of the memory card. Please note, there is no need to unzip the package. Safely eject the memory card from the computer once the copy is complete. Make sure that the device and the power cable are not connected to the DC power supply, meaning the device is turned off. Then insert the memory card into the device correctly. Connect the B Plus and the ACC wires to the positive of the DC power supply and the ground wire to the negative according to the user manual of the device. Then power up the device with 12 volts. It may take 2 minutes for the device to start up until the three indicators start flashing or remain steady on. The device then detects and verifies the upgrade package and emits an audible prompt indicating the start of the upgrade. The entire upgrade may take 6 to 8 minutes. Please wait patiently and ensure Upgrading a reliable firmware. power supply Please during this process. Power off. During the upgrade, the three indicators will turn off. And after the upgrade is complete, they will start flashing or remain steady on. You can check if the upgrade is successful on Wi-Fi Kit or send the warden command via SMS over the platform. That's all about upgrading a dash cam via the memory card. Any future optimization of the process will be based on this. The above two traditional upgrade methods may not be feasible in all situations or if the use of device data is a concern to you and you have physical access to the device, then you can use the point-to-point -point upgrade feature of Wi-Fi Kit. This feature utilizes a Wi-Fi connection between your mobile phone and the device to transmit the upgrade package directly without consuming the device data. The device then performs the upgrade after verifying the packages integrated. To avoid using device data for the upgrade, we recommend downloading and importing the upgrade package beforehand in the office or using your mobile data. Here is how. Connect your mobile to a suitable network. Open Wi-Fi Kit and type on point-to-point -point upgrade to access the page. This page lists all currently stored firmware upgrade packages. Choose the one you need. One thing to note is that these packages are cached in the app. So, if you uninstall the app or clear the app cache, they will all be removed. You can also delete upgrade packages one by one on this page. If none of the listed packages meet your requirements, just tap on Input New Firmware and choose Manual Input. Enter the URL 
to download the desired upgrade package. After downloading, you can rename or add comments to the package to facilitate future searches. Now that the import is complete, let's proceed to the point-to-point -point upgrade. Open Wi-Fi Kit and tap on Connect to Wi-Fi to access the login interface. Before logging in, you can type on point-to-point -point upgrade over login and access the upgrade page through debug. Tap on firmware upgrade and on the desired upgrade package. Then tap on apply. During transmission, please don't exit the page or the app. Otherwise, the upgrade may fail. Once the device receives and verifies the package, you will hear a voice prompt indicating the upgrade start. Upgrading firmware. Please do not power off. Please wait patiently for the process to complete and ensure the device remains powered during this process. The device will restart upon completion and the connection with Wi-Fi kit will be affected. So if you still would like to check or test the device on Wi-Fi kit, please reconnect to the device hotspot and log in. Upon log in, the firmware version on the dashboard should be your desired one. That's all about the point-to-point -point upgrade. Any future optimization of the process will be based on this. We have already introduced three upgrade methods that require physical access to the device. Now, let's introduce the last method that can be operated remotely. That is over-the-air upgrade. An OTA upgrade is performed through a wireless network where the device downloads the upgrade package from the cloud using device data, verifies the packages integrity, and then performs the upgrade. This method requires the device to be online with a stable network connection. Currently, two OTA options are available. You can choose to use our OTA system, and we will configure an OTA task to your specific device by following these steps. Contact us with an official channel or your account manager and specify your requirements and we will configure the OTA task. Once configured, the device will detect the upgrade task and download the package from the cloud upon login. And the upgrade will start after the device verifies the packages integrity. No further actions are needed, but wait for the upgrade to finish. If you want to check if the upgrade is complete, just send warden command via SMS over the platform. Or you can upload the upgrade package to a local server and send a command to require the device to download the package. You can get the upgrade package from our official channel or your account manager. Please make sure the name of the package is updated to ensure upgrade success. Upload the firmware upgrade package to your local HTTP server and create a URL that automatically starts the download upon access in a browser without restrictions or confirmation. Then send the command to the device and wait for confirmation. Please note, the URL in the command must be replaced with the created link as the figure shows. Once configured, the device will detect the upgrade task and download the package from the cloud upon login. And the upgrade will start after the device verifies the packages integrity. No further actions are needed, but wait for the upgrade to finish. If you want to check if the upgrade is complete, just send warden command via SMS over the platform. The OTA upgrades 
require a stable network connection and can consume device data. So for devices with much older versions, we recommend using the other three methods. That's all about firmware upgrade via OTA. And any future optimization of the process will be based on this. The table shows our available firmware upgrade methods for the JC261 and the JC400 series dashcams. Each has its own merits and applications. Just choose the one according to your needs. That's all for today. We hope this explanation clarifies the different firmware upgrade schemes for JC261 and JC400 series dashcams. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. We would be happy to help. Thank you for watching and bye for now.